This is the digital bee, and in Beastworm Simulator, there is no bee harder to get. When it was initially released, you could buy it for 2,500 Robux, or $20 USD. But I decided I didn't want to do that, so I decided to do it the fun way. The fun way is getting 5 types of every drive, and more importantly, reaching round 20 in Robo Challenge. A challenge all about doing attack, which is pretty difficult for me, because I'm a blue hive, and blue hives do no damage. Despite this fact though, I decided to grind for digital B anyways. Also, most of the footage that you're about to see was streamed live on this YouTube channel, so if you like this video, turn on notifications and check out my streams because you'll probably like them too. Anyways, I'm gonna quickly explain how RBC works, and then I'm gonna show you the run. When you start your Robo Challenge, you are slapped with a big nerf to all your stats, and you only get three Bs from your hive. With these debuffs, you have to do one of two random quests that are offered to you. However, to help you out from being totally screwed, you have to buy upgrades with the in-game currency COGS that will give you your stat increases, and every round before you start your quest, you have to pick two out of six Bs offered to you. There's some other complications like mobs, but that's the general gist. Now we can begin the actual interesting part of this video, the run. Now I'm going to keep it a stack. The first like 9 rounds are very easy, however they are still important because we're going to need bees like Windy Bee, Bear Bee, Vicious Bee, and we're also going to need all those upgrades. And to be totally honest, I was getting very lucky. I mean just look at the bees that we're getting in round 1. Bomber Bee, because we're never going to see him again. <gasps> to say this wasn't promising would be a lie. Anyways, round one was a breeze, and we moved on to round two. We didn't get the insane bee luck that we got in round one, but we did get sharpened, which is important because that upgrade gives us bee attack. Round two was unsurprisingly free money, and moving into round three, we got some pretty good luck with our upgrades. Round three was, you guessed it, no trouble. What was about to happen next, though, was absolutely insane. Vicious bee, yay! Yeah! That's what gets a man feeling good right there. Oh yeah. Going into round 5 though, we would start to see a reoccurring theme of this challenge. The mob rounds. Essentially every 5 rounds, you're required to kill a certain amount of mobs. Now round 5, you only have to kill 25 mosquitoes, which is fairly easy. However, later down the line, these mob rounds would cause us serious issues, but we'll get to that. Round 5 was the round that took the longest so far, but it was still easy. The next rounds 6, 7, 8, and 9 were all fairly easy, with no trouble. However, moving on after these rounds, no round would become free. Round 10 is another mob round, but it is much harder than the previous one. That's because I get to kill 10 cog mowers, which is, uh, not fun. However, uh, I did get some, uh, pretty good upgrades. Aside from that, though, I started my round, and I did my strategy of getting the blue pollen needed first, and then killing the cog mowers. It took me two minutes to get all the blue pollen needed, but I also killed three Kogmowers, so I really wasn't worried about our pace. And fortunately, I had a right to not be worried, because I got all the Kogmowers done and I moved on to round 11. I know it's kind of hard to see because Aiden Lim just subscribed, but we got base 15, which is one of the best upgrades in all of Robo Challenge for Blue Hives. Round 11 actually went pretty well after that, and while it did take two minutes, I never had any worries. Our luck kind of took a turn for the worst, because we had to go to Strawberry Field for round 12, but we got Windy Bee, so that kind of made up for it. It's actually insanely clutch that we got Windy Bee, because without him, we probably wouldn't be able to get the Shred Pollen, so shout out him. Before I started round 13, I was actually asking for people to give me their Fuzzy Hive, and luckily, someone by the name of S. Bubby came to the rescue, so uh, if you could please comment, we love you, S. Bubby, in the comments. That'd be cool. One reason it's actually very nice to have a fuzzy hive is for quests like these where I need pollen from a low level field, actually enjoyable because with the help of fuzzy hive, you're able to make the small flowers big flowers, and big flowers equals more pollen. What a concept. RNG would bless us yet again in round 14, but this, this was just a calm before the storm. Now I'm not gonna lie, until this point, my heart rate had barely jumped at all. However, that was soon to change in round 15. Round 15 is another mob round, and we have to kill 10 Mega Mosquitoes. And these guys suck. They're flying, whenever you get close to them, they fly away, they have a decent amount of health, they do a decent amount of damage, and they're everywhere. We also have to collect much more blue pollen than we did in round 10. In round 10, we had to collect 60 million blue pollen, and in round 15, we had to collect 2 billion. However, I'd be in round 15 before, so I had hopes. After getting a star shower, I got all the blue pollen I needed, so I thought that I had this in the bag. However, disaster would soon strike. And you use the wand for so long, too. Like, oh, I'm gonna die. But there's like two minutes left. Surely we don't sell again. We're gonna die again. Oh, God, I sold. 
After that death, I honestly thought that this run was just over. We're going to reset. And you could tell by my commentary. I don't know why I can't kill these guys. Usually I'm able to pretty easily. Bees, please. It's over. Oh, GG's. My bees do no damage. Uh, yes, kill that guy. How? I, I lagged. Okay, we saw that. L. L run. But wait, cut the music. A handful of you already pressed the timeline and already saw that there's a lot more time left in this chapter. And uh, that's for a very simple reason. We ain't done yet. Wait, maybe not. We can kill this guy. We just clutch round 15. I just clutch round 15. I just clutch round 15. I just clutch. I just clutch. We just saved that so hard. Oh, wow. Okay. We just saved that. Cloud! We're saved! We just got, we just got double our capacity. Oh, my God. Yes! Easy. This one is not totally dead. Let's go. Oh my god! We're gonna take quest B. We got Mount Top. We got Mount Top. Okay, we need to be okay, cog mowers. Watch the cog mowers. Okay, we're good. Let's go, chat! Route 20! Here we go! Here we go, Route 20! We've been waiting a long time! And we're finally here! So, we had finally made it. Round 20 after all this time. If you've been paying attention, you'll know that this is another mob round. Similar to round 10, we have to kill cog mowers, but we have to kill 20 of them and we also have to collect like way, way more pollen. This round commands extreme precision. One too many mistakes and it's over. My viewer count had now gone up to like 80 and I could actually feel my heart pumping out of my chest. The stress was definitely gained to me, but I had a show to put on and I was gonna do my best. Reroll please. Yes! It's possible. Here we go, chat. We need drives now. We're gonna drive now. We're gonna kill. We gotta kill. We're gonna kill first. We're gonna kill first. Kill this guy. Kill this guy. Kill this guy. Kill this guy. Go, 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 go. He's dead. Go, go, go. Come on. Oh, wow, that does a lot of damage. We have more than half the time left. We just need to kill the cog mowers. There we go. Get that. Get this guy. Okay. Stingers. This is promising. This is promising. Come on, baby. 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 I think these are the last cog mowers. I think these are the last cog mowers. Stingers. Come on. Come on. Last cog mower here. Okay. Last cog mower. Kill him. He's down. Go, go, go. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Just don't sell. Star shower. OMG. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my, yes, yes, oh my god, yes, we're done, we're done, we did it, we did it, oh my god, we did it, it's over, it's over, we've been doing this for two months, chat, chat, were you here, were you here, chat? Now, if you're familiar with Beastform Simulator, or you remember all the way back, you will know that you need five of every drive to get Digital B. Little did I know, however, how time consuming getting all these drives would be. Specifically, how difficult it would be to get all five glitch drives. To get glitch drives, the best way I could figure out of doing it is just crafting them. But to do that, you need five of every other drive. You need to do this five times. After my round 20 run, I decided to kind of take a break from RBC and only got two glitch drives over the course of two weeks. However, one fateful Monday, I just decided, you know what, F it. And over the course of six hours, I would finish out this grind. A lot of it was kind of boring and I don't really want to show you it, but there was one highlight before we got the digital B. Beastorm Tryhard and long-term fan Sterixo told me that if I complete round 20, I actually get a guaranteed glitch drive. So I decided, why not? And the run was honestly going great until round 17, when maybe the luckiest thing in my B-Swarm career would happen. So here I am, there's around two minutes left, and I have not collected any white pollen. And I'm saying to myself, it's over. Fast forward a little bit, because I ain't trying to watch all that. We get to this point, there's like 30 seconds left, and I need a decent chunk, and I actually start to get it. There's 10 seconds left, I can't even see the chunk I need, and then this happens. Seven! No! 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 Please! 
two! No! Did we get it? We got it! Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! Oh. 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 To be honest, I have no idea what happened. The time is clearly expired. And yet, I still got it. But hey, I'm not complaining. The rest of the grind was not nearly as interesting. It was just me trying to get to round 15 as much as possible with basically only cog upgrades. It was a boring grind, but after I got my final glitch drive, I knew that the end would be soon. My drive count kept climbing and climbing until I had four red, white, and blue drive. I'd buy a red drive, then a white drive, and then I decided to try and gamble and get the blue drive when I quit. I did not. It was a little discouraging, but after doing so many runs, what's one more? I quickly got through rounds one, two, and then I would get to round three. If I got a 12 cog quest, it would be over. Unfortunately, I got an 11 cog quest, which meant I would be one cog short and I have to do one more round, and I really don't want to do that. Thankfully, this golden cog mower would come to save the day, and he would give me 16 cogs, enough to buy my final blue drive. And ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment that you've been waiting nearly 10 minutes for, and I've been waiting three months for. Please, 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 just let me go home. 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 Yes! Yeah. Move! Yes! Digital me! Yeah. Yes! Oh, yes. And now, chat. Actually, wait. Yeah, chat, here we go. Here we go. The final bee I need in Bee Swarm. The rarest bee. We have it. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, you're, you're so becoming gifted. You are so becoming gifted. There you go. Level 20 bee. Digi bee. Yay. First level 20's digital B, that's kind of cool. Uh, let's see if we can use it. There it is! There he is, there's a digital B. It's 5% corruption. Absolutely insane levels of corruption. Uh, I gotta do some stuff behind the scenes to get this digital B to actually be worth it. But we're done! Thank you for watching my longest video to date till the very end, and special shout out to all these members scrolling past your screen right now. Because of these wonderful people, I'm able to make videos like this, and if you want to support me, clicking the join button or the first link in the description is the best way of supporting me. Thanks for watching, and click this video that YouTube recommended you themselves.